What's up YouTube, Capital G here, checking out the rest of the Dragon Maid archetype that has finally been revealed. As predicted yesterday on this very channel, this archetype is actually fusion based and every main deck monster has a maid form and then also a dragon form. Very smart of Konami also to give every level in this archetype multiple monsters. What this means is because the way that Dragon Maids function, you can actually take like one Dragon Maid monster and you don't actually have to tag into its specific specific dragon form you can tag into the dragon form of other monsters as long as the levels actually match up you got multiple level uh sevens eights twos and threes in this archetype now i'm not going to repeat a lot of the second and third effects in this archetype just because it's redundant it's built into a lot of the monsters kind of tagging in tagging out etc etc just for the sake of time so let's start off with dragon maid nasseri this is a level two earth dragon 1500 1600 her unique effect is a hard once per Turn, and it is if this card is normal or special summoned you can target one level four or lower dragon made monster front or in your graveyard special summon it okay so this is probably not a card that you're going to use turn zero maybe not even turn one if you're going second but this is obviously a solid effect it's a monster reborn for any of the made fo uh, forms of the monsters in the archetype and keep in mind that there are no kind of like uh you know there's no restrictions on what that monster can do you can link summon with it you can fusion summon with it you can tag it out for another dragon form of a dragon made monster seems pretty solid in my opinion now her dragon form is a level seven predictably and this is dragon made Erty. this is a level seven dragon monster that has 2600 attack uh, 1600 defense her unique effect is a quick effect that says you can discard discard special summon one level four or lower dragon made monster from your hand this effect is actually quite incredible i think this will be one of the most valuable effects that they have because it is a quick effect this means that even if you have an open board and you have like no other cards on your side of the field if your opponent gets rid of all your monsters or something like that somehow they board wipe you you can discard this you know before the battle phase starts you can summon one of your made forms from your hand and then you can actually tag that monster out right for like you can tag it out and then just summon this card from the graveyard which <laughs> that seems pretty awesome this card also can work offensively because during you know, during the battle phase you obviously can just discard this you can summon another made from your hand and that can just kind of be a special summon way of getting more damage on board if you want to go ahead and do that before the battle phase then obviously you can tag that monster out for another monster in your graveyard so this card feels really good i'm so glad that it's a quick effect and it definitely feels like a card that can be used offensively and defensively i love versatile cards like that not going to talk about uh, the dragon maid laundry because i already discussed that in another video my first video on this archetype that's just the level three that when it's summoned actually excuse me it's a level two that when it's summoned it mills the top three cards from your debt to the graveyard they were all the dragon maid lights form memes however i will talk about her maid or her dragon form that is the dragon maid flus this is a level seven it is 2600 attack six defense her unique effect is you can discard this card then target one monster in the graveyard return that monster to the deck this card oh my goodness i honestly don't think that this card is going to be run i know a lot of people say that these dragon made cards if they made all the dragon forms quick effects from the hand then they would just kind of be generic hand traps but come on guys we know that this should have been a quick effect if this would have been a quick effect it would have been excellent at disrupting salaman grades or like sky strikers when they try to summon Ray back from the graveyard, something like that. So many decks in Yu-Gi-Oh! summon from the graveyard or have some type of ability with monsters in the graveyard this would have been an excellent disruption effect and honestly it feels like it can only get rid of like if your opponent has a jack jaguar in their graveyard like getting rid of it preemptively before your opponent tries to special summon it during their turn i don't see why you'd ever want to put your own monsters back into the deck i think it's just better using it against your opponent honestly i just feel like the other level seven is so much better that there's probably not a great reason to run this card considering that's the only effect and the stat line of the other level seven is just it's the same exact thing so the fact that this isn't the quick effect to me kind of kills the playability of this card it's just a, a really underpowered effect in my opinion now you have the other level three dragon mate 
keep in mind yesterday i talked about dragon maid parla she is the other level three so you know she kind of works with the uh the level three that i'm going to talk about right now this is dragon maid tilru she is a level three dragon maid monster 1500 or excuse me 500 attack 1700 defense her unique effect is if this card is normal or special summoned you can add one dragon maid monster from your deck to your hand except another copy of tilru then send one dragon maid monster from your hand to the graveyard so this is basically bujin yamato except it happens immediately it happens in the, uh, the the second that you summon this card instead of during the end phase this card doesn't make numerical advantage off of that effect but when you think about the ways that the dragon maids kind of operate it actually does basically like let's just say you have this card and nothing else you can normal summon her you could get her dragon form add it to your hand send it to the graveyard and then just tag into the dragon form and then voila you just instantly have a big ass monster on board so <laughs> i kind of feel like this sets up really nicely for the archetype considering all the monsters can be summoned from the graveyard so you really don't need to make advantage when their core mechanic of tagging out to the dragon forms just makes advantage in itself so i feel like this is definitely a good card I like cards that are self-sufficient and work in a vacuum, and this card definitely fits that bill. Basically, a one-card playmaker. Now, her dragon form is incredibly strong. I think it actually is my favorite of all the dragon forms in this this archetype. It's Dragon Maid Flame. 2,700 attack, 1,700 defense. It's level 8. The unique effect is a quick effect that says you can discard this card, then target one Dragon Maid monster you control. It gains 2,000 attack until the end of this turn. This is a raw damage card, and I love it. My goodness, the only <laughs> downside is the fact that it's a hard one to return. I like the fact that you can attack your opponent directly and you still get that 2,000 attack gain. A lot of times when you get that type of damage, Konami locks it into monsters have to be battling or some crazy nonsense like that. I also like the fact that you can obviously use the effect, discard it from the graveyard, put it on one of your Dragon Maid monsters, then tag out another Dragon Maid monster that you have on, on field, and then just summon this card from the graveyard for free, and then you have massive amounts of damage. Quick fact being able to use during the damage that both players turns i don't really know what there isn't to like about this card this feels like one of their best defensive cards ways of actually like stopping the opponent from just kind of wrecking their uh stuff husky is the fusion monster for the archetype level 9 3000 attack 2000 defense the fusion materials are spectacular they're just a dragon made plus a dragon monster and um yeah super poly for days <laughs> i think that that'll just be kind of obvious unless the guard dragons are completely eradicated by the fnl list by the time we get this card i kind of feel like either you know super polying during the battle phase or using your opponent's dragon monsters will just be the standard of this archetype super poly seems like it makes a lot of sense first effect once per turn during the standby phase you can target one other dragon made monster you control special summon in defense position one dragon made monster from your hand or graveyard whose level is one higher or lower than that monsters second effect when a face-up dragon monster you control is returned to the hand you can target one monster your opponent controls destroy that target uh very important to note that destruction effect in the second effect is not a hard one to return and technically i guess that that would work with tempest too so shout outs to the dragon rulers you guys know that konami was going to make some way of making dragon rulers work with this archetype i mean this card feels like it's okay i wish the first effect would have been a little faster i'm not loving that it activates in the standby phase feels like it should have been the main phase like that would have been like really good but obviously it's a card that makes advantage it gives protection for the dragon forms of the other monsters i wish she would have had protection like maybe targeting immunity would have been kind of nice but uh, i digress next up is a continuous spell card for the archetype dragon made reception the second effect is a hard once per turn first effect just says monsters you control gain 100 attack and defense for each dragon made monster you control second effect if you control two or more dragon made monsters you can target one dragon made card in your graveyard except another reception add it to your hand Third effect, if this card is sent to the graveyard for the rest of this turn, all Dragon Maid monsters you control will be unable to be targeted by your opponent's card effects. I know Konami gave this card three effects, but am I the only one that thinks it's woefully underpowered? I mean, the second effect, being able to recover your Dragon Maid card, seems really cool. I mean, you really don't need to recover the Dragon Forms, because you can just summon them from the uh, the graveyard, then you can tag them back into your hand. I think that it can kind of be good for the spells and traps, but the first effect, gaining a very small amount of attack, 
attack and defense that's going to be inconsequential and a third effect seems very reliant on your opponent kind of getting the card off the field because as far as i can tell this archetype doesn't really have any ways of doing it themselves i feel like you should have just got targeting immunity as long as the card was face up on the field like that just would have been better now we have the fusion card for the archetype dragon made changing this is a normal spell where the second effect is a hard once per turn the first effect is just polymerization it says fusion one dragon monster from your extra deck using monsters in your hand or field as fusion material second effect if this card is in the graveyard you can return one dragon made monster you control add this card to your hand and if you do return that monster to the hand so to me this just kind of feels like a worse version of gem knight fusion if you guys don't remember gem knight fusion from clash of rebellion same exact first effect and the second effect lets you add it from your graveyard to your hand in an unlimited amount of times and it's not like um gem knight fusion wasn't when they had hard once per turns because it was an art v card from clash of rebellion i don't think that this card needed to be a hard once per turn on that second effect i don't feel like that would have made this card overpowered or anything like that it does trigger husky's effect by bouncing one of your dragon made cards but i feel like konami had to do something more like we needed to be able to use cards from the extra deck or from like the main deck or something just to give this deck a little more power like you know being able to send like tempest from our deck to the graveyard that would have been kind of fun anyways the final card in this archetype is a trap it's a continuous trap at that this is dragon made relaxation you've got the first effect being a hard once per turn you can target one dragon made monster you control then activate one of these effects return that targeted monster to the hand and if you do add one dragon made card from your deck to your hand accept another copy of relaxation or you can return the targeted monster to your hand and if you do bounce one of your opponent's spells and traps to their hand i don't think anyone's going to use that part of the effect i feel like the rota effect is much more reliable especially considering that like some of the dragon forms of the dragon mates have quick effects so you can like obviously rota for those cards and then activate those effects from the hand immediately after you search them keep in mind this does trigger the fusion monster husky i feel like you run this card just for the rota effect i mean maybe once every blue moon you'll use the bounce effect during your opponent's end phase if it would have been like an mst and not a shitty bounce your opponent's spells and traps okay maybe we would have had an argument for that card because it would have been useful against like field spells or something like that but as it stands just use the rota effect anyways what do you guys think of the new dragon made archetype whatever you think leave it in the comment section below thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already and turn on that notification bell for daily videos